Hi, after weeks and weeks of miserable wet weather in the UK, I've decided to move into France and I don't think I'm going to bother going back home again either. It's wonderful, blue skies, not only blue skies, but lots of birds compared to the UK. This is the first full day's photography and I'm concentrating on one bird, the greater flamingo. It's not my favourite species. I always find them quite ungainly and ugly, but they're very popular. People like flamingos. I don't remember when was the first time I came to this place, but it'd be in the 1990s. And like everywhere, it's changed drastically. There were no nesting grey herons then, but they've got nesting platforms up for them and the nests are widespread all over the place. And the flamingos, they used to feed first thing in the morning before it was open. And I was able to talk my way in. Well, they no longer feed them and I couldn't talk my way into an early access this time either. You really want to be here early because that's when the light is at its best. Opening time was at 10 o'clock and the birds still seem to be roosting. These are a mixture of little egrets and cattle egrets. Cattle egret with a yellow bill on the right hand side. The little egret has the black bill. We get both these species in the UK now. The little egret is very widespread. The cattle egret is spreading. Not quite as common yet. Here's a cattle egret. Here I'm in the Camargue in southern France and both species are very common. I'm in an ornithological park. It costs eight euros a day to get in here. It's quite large, almost 150 acres. So that's quite a lot of walking with a number of hides and viewing platforms. And very importantly, quite a lot of very approachable birds. They put up these nesting platforms so the grey herons have a structure that they can start to build their nests in and perhaps storks and other things as well. And I would imagine as we get into the new year, into January, these herons will start to display and fight and there'll be all sorts of activity going on here. It's probably a wonderful place to photograph herons when they start their nest building. There'll be a lot of competition amongst them and they, they do tend to squabble a lot. This bird is in lovely condition, very nice plumage. I was lucky enough to come across some squabbling herons, but I do wish I'd have got there a bit earlier. But it's very dramatic. There's white stalks around as well. This is a very common bird in France and Spain. You see them in all the little towns and villages by the sides of the roads. Of course we now get them in the UK, breeding too. From some of the hides there are other things you can photograph, avocets. But mostly I was filming the flamingos and although it's not my favourite bird there is a lot of wonderful action to be taken. They're displaying nearly all of the time. Now we're coming to the end of December here so do they display like this all the year round? I don't really know. I've not put that much time into flamingos but this head shaking is a very common display and they all do it together synchronised I really enjoy filming wildlife in slow motion, but I didn't find it worked here. I did this in slow motion, but really you want it going at normal speed to look its best.
So this is slowed down now. This is the Lumix G9 Mark II, 120 frames per second, 4K. So almost five times slow, and it auto focuses very well at this frame rate. Now this bird park gets very crowded, so you're not likely to be enjoying these flamingos by yourself. But that's how I remember it from the last visit when I was there, which must be at least 10 years ago. I don't remember people at all. It was the Christmas week, so there's going to be a lot of people on holiday. The birds are doing this all the while too. They're walking along as a group as if they've got somewhere purposeful to go. Then they turn around and walk back again, backwards and forwards. And I like the way these three birds came together and did this little wing display too. Here I'm filming myself with the DJI Pocket 3 and it's got face detection on it and it moves the head to follow your face. So when it can't see my face, the camera starts moving, hunting for me. Something I didn't realise was happening at the time. So the camera is static on a tripod but the head moves around. But I'm getting down low on the floor because I want those low angle shots of the heads of the flamingos moving amongst this mass of legs. All of the footage is taken with the Lumix G9 Mark II with the 150 to 400 mm OM lens and I concentrated on video. I hardly took a stills picture at all. I've said before I find it very hard to do both. You've really got to concentrate on one or the other. Here we have a pair of yellow leg gulls and they're interested in something. This is taken from one of the hides as you walk around the reserve and there's a dead flamingo off to the left of the picture. That's the interest, the next meal. But this is very common with birds that they are nervous of approaching dead food. They're not convinced it's dead. The little egret I don't think is vaguely interested Maybe it's going to give the gull a bit more confidence. But you can see it's very wary. Is this flamingo suddenly going to jump up in the air? Lapwing coming in now in the bottom left of the picture. Yeah, first peck. But this is very common with crows, with buzzards, eagles even. They're very nervous when they first start to feed. Flamingos spend somewhere between 15 to 30% of their time during the day bathing and preening themselves, which is more than most water birds do. And this is a very common sight to see them down in the water, soaking themselves wet and keeping their feathers in good condition, and then rearing up like some sort of monster. Now the other creature I'd like to have made a YouTube film on from the Camargue is this one. It's not a beaver, it's a coipu. And we used to have them in the UK. It's a species that comes from South America. They were introduced into the UK accidentally or released from fur farms. And they became a major pest species. I can remember seeing them in Norfolk, but only very limited sightings. But what sticks in my head is the very orange teeth. That is the memory I have of coipus. 
It's a pigment on the teeth in the enamel that keeps them very strong and tough. Thanks for watching.